just in time. We're on. <laughs> Yay. Are we on? Yeah. Hello. <laughs> uh, Maybe. I was sending a message to my mom. Give me a second. <laughs> Hi, mom. Okay. Hi, Helen. Mom, roll initiative. <laughs> <laughs> um, she nat twenty. She had me. It's fine. Yay. <laughs> okay. Hello, everybody. Hello, everyone. Welcome. That's weird. Sorry. That was a... Look, <laughs> as is the tradition of doing stupid intros. There you go. Um. Thank you uh, for coming along this Sunday evening. It's always a Sunday evening, unless it was the last session, which case it was a that, that was a Sunday as well, wasn't it? Was that a Monday? It was, yeah, yeah. Time has uh, lost all meaning. It mm-hmm. has. Um, you are most welcome along to D8 Dungeons Rise of the Forsaken, Chapter 10, The Vulture and the Wolf. Um, I am Declan, your Dungeon Master, and I am joined, as always, by Kat, James, Hi. Eilish, Emma, and Fiona. Four of whom seem to have forgotten that this is a stream and they need to talk. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, I, mean, leave me alone. I did that. that I said hello. Yeah, no, you, you were the only one that did actually say anything, Kat. The rest all just body language their way you through. Had a it. Lot. <laughs> I was saving it. I was saving the vocal cords. Um, you are most, most, most welcome along. I uh, hope you are settling in for what promises, as always, <laughs> to be in any, in no way, shape, or form anything like I had prepared or I thought this session would actually be. Um, we'll, we'll see how it goes. And before we kick off with our recap, which the the recap dice has determined that today Regmond will be giving us his version ah, of the, ah. the event, half of which he actually wasn't conscious for, but we'll see how <laughs> we'll see how he pulls that together. Um, just a very very quick reminder uh, that uh, we have a lovely <coughs> lovely affiliate link uh, with the Rook and the Raven. Uh, makers and crafters of some phenomenal TTRPG accessories, uh, as sported there by Fiona oh, and Cat. Mm-hmm. Eilish hasn't got hers with her, and I've yet to receive mine that you all decided to buy me as a gift for last session. It's so love, much fun. Love how it was um, so You can change your stats. Look how great my stats are. To suit, to suit the got session. I got drawing paper. It's yeah. just like. <laughs> <laughs> I love how was like, so you can change your stats whenever you feel like it. <laughs> <laughs> That's D&D. You can level up. My <clears throat> level up. Nine intelligence, it's not a problem anymore. My uh, my portrait <laughs> slot is empty because I'm going to wait to meet Kat in person and let her do that for me. I know, do oh it yourself. Gosh, yeah. Do it yourself. Yeah, Where's mine? Not, I'm not oh, sure. I just ran all Laura. over. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> as you can tell we we, we really like uh the rook and uh the raven so if you'd like to have your own <laughs> copy of uh your dm notebook your player notebook and many many wonderful inserts if you head on over to the rook and raven website i was going to say website because alliteration um but uh, if you head on over and at the very, very end, if you use a code in the checkout, D8 Dungeon, uh, you will get yourself a discount and we will get a, a portion uh, of the proceeds. And that goes into helping us run D8 Dungeon, create more content, do new things, do new stuff. Um, it's a, it's a, it is an affiliate link and I'm sure James has popped that into uh, the wherever... I was oh, so yes. ready. Was... You've no idea how ready I was, Declan. <laughs> like in advance, you were like, "Before we get started," and I was like, "Oh shit! It's now is my time." <laughs> did I? Did Put I do good? Exclamation Put point! In, <laughs> um, oh. Yeah. So if you click that link and use that code, you will save money on some wonderful, wonderful uh, TTRPG goodies. And if you're based in Ireland and or the UK, you're going to get it quicker because they have uh, a space here in Cork. Is it Cork? Yeah, yeah. Cork. yeah. So it ships out of mm-hmm. Ireland. So you know what to do. You know what you you you, you know you know, you know what you need to do. You need to take five minutes, keep the stream open, and treat yourself to something. Treat yourself. Treat yourself. And if you're one of the five players in here, you know what you need to do. You need to take five minutes and treat me to something. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm just no, gonna put my uh, journal down and oh oh what's this? Oh look at my <laughs> cool keyring. No, it's not a sponsor. No, uh, which Bad. is from our own lovely cat <laughs> from her Etsy IX Cato. I also have, oh wow, what's this? I, I have. A we all have a sticker oh, okay. and winter face sticker. <gasps> what this is my favorite. Uh, oh I missed God. the memo where we were buying stuff from Cat. <laughs> I did not know. I tweeted it the other day and I bought Boo. some stuff. But how I don't look at all your Twitter. I have a really sad update about those dice, by the way, but that's an off stream story. It's <laughs> kind of sad. Oh, um, yay. Is this, is this a collector's item? Is this rare now? No. I will say, I will probably, I'll probably put something on Twitter about it. I do think it's relevant. So on Twitter a, a while ago, I'd said that, oh, here, I'm going to run a little sale for my shop because uh, I saw some dice I want to buy. And of course, lots of people went and they bought some stuff. And I went to go buy the dice. And very sadly, because of the things going on, that dice maker is based in Ukraine. <gasps> and they've had to close their shop because of the absolute atrocities happening Fuck. there. So I'm going to put on my Twitter after the stream a link to their shop where they're selling uh, digital files to help raise funds for oh, cool. like 100%. Ukrainian humanitarian resources. I'll do that after the stream, but that dice maker, I can't remember their name. I just hope I hope they're doing very well. Because their dice are beautiful oh. and I'm very sad. If you have it for the chat even for the Twitch yeah. chat. I'm yeah. gonna see if I can find it. I'll find it during the break and I'll put it on because their dice is absolutely, absolutely stunning. Mm -hmm. And it broke my heart to see that uh. they've had to close their shop due to the evacuations happening over there so i'm thinking of you i'm thinking of Aww. you lovely dice person and i'll Aww. put that on my twitter during the break and hopefully we can go and support them yay agreed mm -hmm. so team so we're killing nuns this week <laughs> <laughs> hey no leave that to regiment are we i need a recap because i can't remember yeah, and, and emma turned on to that <laughs> emma recap yep. time please um <laughs> Sure. Again, I haven't uh, read these since the end of the last game, and there only appears to be two and a half pages, so it should be quite only. short. Only. Well, my writing's big. Um, <laughs> <laughs> all right. So it's chapter nine after the dawn, which I believe is around breakfast time. Um, <laughs> all right. So, uh, firstly, roll initiative. Umbra touches himself and heals Nora Stigmata. Reggie tries to uh, reason with uh, the Flemmy man. It fails. Reggie gets him with his great axe. Nora fails. Diara casts pain and fails. <laughs> Flemmy man summons Mud Dog and it bites Reggie. Reggie charms the Mud Dog. A great orc arrives and it's dislocated uh, and a dislocated half elf. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Hard to say. Hard to the, say. The orc uh, did have orc... a dislocated shoulder. Is that it? <laughs> Hard to You'd say. You'd hope so. <laughs> yeah. um, the orc goes for Diara. Diara and Reggie are emo together. Um, Mooney casts <coughs> Hashes hideous laughter on the orc. Uh, the dog slips. Um, orc thinks everything is gas. <laughs> um, Umbra does some glowy stuff. Um, the... <laughs> Flemmy Man is dead. Uh, I think his name is Archie, maybe. Um, Reggie, <laughs> Reggie reasons with the Flemmy Man. Nora tries, to man. Uh, Nora tries to smash the mage orb. Nora asks why she sees dead people. Uh, orb Lady attacks us all. Diara and Reggie are dead. Targal is in a battle. <laughs> Mooney fireballs the, the mage, whose name is Farah, I believe. Uh, Umber does not hit Farah. Nora sees uh, dead ancestors, her great-grandmother, who says she is fucked. Uh, Nora attacks the ghosts. Uh, Flem Man fixes Reggie. Flem Man tells T uh, wait, says Tilly is a con artist. Mooney... Nope, can't tell you. Uh... <laughs> like you, were, you were out for that bit. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea. Uh, Targill says there was a devastation. Uh, the Empress was assassinated. Ul Orlor, Orlor, can I pronounce Orlor. it? Orlor. <laughs> Orlor. Orlor uh, spilled out. Uh, Inish Darug is just one point I have. It's just Inish Darug. <laughs> 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 they fought over the island. I guess that's Inish Darug. They fought over. Maybe that's. <laughs> um, 
<laughs> the factions fought over the island. Whoever gets in is Derek wins the war. Uh, Pendrast versus Freeman. <coughs> oh yeah, the, yeah, the Pendras versus the Freemans. Uh, village has been a wasteland for twenty plus years. Uh, Umber steps in and re revives Diara. Diara revives Reggie. Mooney goes to the mud puppy. We <laughs> rile up Targal. We follow her. She's going home to Cove. Umber wants to set some ground rules. <laughs> I'm more confused than before I heard that recap. Um, I'm writing this and I'm confused. All right, so let's go. So the main thing is Inish Darug. It's a point all on its own, guys. It has to be the most important. Thing. Would anyone like to like actually put in anything there that is relevant that might help our viewers? Uh, that, so, I, that I may have missed. I tell you what, Damn. viewers, sound off if any of that didn't make sense. Okay, <laughs> if any of that, if any element of that didn't make sense to you, just just let us know in the chat and we'll sort it out. <laughs> okay, not you, not Declan. You, yeah. <laughs> Look at Declan, all of it. <laughs> oh, Sorry. No, it actually. I mean, as separate pieces, no, cohesively. <laughs> Also, no. Also, no. <laughs> um, yeah, right. Okay. Well, while the audience tries to remember what show they were watching last time, because <laughs> um, it wasn't we... this one. Does Redmond get inspiration for that? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Sorry. No, that's that's absolutely fine. I uh... actually got confused at what. In his defense, <laughs> in his defense he was. Pretty unconscious for most of it. <laughs> he was. Bless his sweetheart. Minus inspiration. <laughs> Disadvantage on your first roll. Oh, God. oh, that would be a fun rule to introduce. No, no. never mind. <laughs> what have you done? I'm on your side. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Not after that recap. <laughs> um, so that's a we... no to inspiration? Okay. <laughs> so. Just erase that there, Emma. I know you probably filled it in. Pretty, pretty yeah. Um. <laughs> there we are. And that dice maker I just found out their Etsy store is Flower Fox. So Flower Fox. give them a couple of couple of quid if you can. Yeah. You can pop it into chat. There we uh, go. At some point during the stream. Try just do don't that. ask Emma to write the promo for him. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think that'd be great if they did. <laughs> um we are we pick up with the five of you with Targal the hunter mm -hmm. and Richter the orc <laughs> um, <laughs> members of a mercenary group of bounty hunters who had been chasing uh, sister Tilda Buckweed uh, from uh, well they didn't stay and neither did she though she alluded to having visited some sort of religious space um, you are all on foot as the carriage did not survive the lightning blast uh, from Vara, uh, the half of sorceress. Uh, but close enough. You had the you had the phonetically. You had the Ara. Uh, <laughs> uh, you've uh, the five of you are kind of following with uh, Richter and Targo, kind of taking the lead. Um, unsure of what awaits you down the road uh, as you move towards and from the hill you can see you can see the woods in, into which uh sister tilda uh fled with her wolf um though on foot you know it's going to take you a little bit longer to try and reach her uh, a small reprieve has been suggested by richter who whose throat's actually killing him uh, like he's literally <laughs> he laughed so much um his he's he's actually bruised his larynx um Ooh. and he has requested just a chance to kind of catch uh his breath uh, and get a bite to eat uh, and with targle sort of <coughs> firm in his mind that you are on uh tilda buckweed's tracks um a quick hour-long break has been set up uh, Targal and Richter have put together a small little campfire 
there's a uh, there isn't time to cook uh, and uh, dried meat uh, and a hunk of a rather mildewy looking cheese uh, is being passed around. Uh, Targal and Richter are kind of set across from the five of you. They're they are in conversation. They're not they're not whispering, but they're not having a loud chat either. Rude. <laughs> it's close to early evening at this point. What are you up to? You're muted, Emma. Can I do a check to see if I can hear what they're saying? Yeah, um, yeah. Again, give me because this is one of those things where, like, they're having a conversation, but they're not, uh, they're not including you in it. So, yeah, give me a perception check. Perceive them, Regiment, mm. and all that's their a, secrets. That's a thirteen. Again, with the with the the others, the with. Uh, Nolra, Mooney, Umbra and Diara kind of milling about and chatting themselves. It's kind of difficult to catch all of it but uh, Regiment, you pay, you're trying to pay more attention to what uh, Targal and Richter are talking about. It mostly seems to concern uh, Bara and her betrayal um, and Richter saying more or less that he, uh, he never trusted her in the first place Um and Targal saying he's right, uh, but uh, she was good uh, in a quick spot. Um, and the only other thing you get, uh, or you're able to kind of glean from the conversation, that, uh, like as it as it moves from Barra and a previous escapade uh, where they were tracking down um, uh, a poacher, there's uh, they're talking about Cove. And wondering, uh, Targal in particular, wondering if uh, they'll be all right this time. Um, I'm, can I mosey over to closer to them <laughs> and um, say, uh, what will happen last time? Uh, uh. Uh, Richter goes to speak and Targal just kind of cuts him off. Uh, uh, Regiment, hmm? right? Mm -hmm. uh, why don't you... Because uh, this, this actually, this part probably concerns all of you. Uh, I mean, you and your um, tall sister in particular, but no harm in everybody knowing this. Why don't you why don't you round him up and uh yeah, we'll share what we know. Okay. And then he hears tall sister and just looks up Nolra and he's like <laughs> <laughs> I think we established that Mooney is a slight little bit taller than Nora. Um, Mooney is canonically seven foot even. Oh, well then I'm taller. <gasps> I wasn't listening to what they were saying. <laughs> 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 um, yeah, I'll shout back to the others and just be like, all right, shy bags, come on, they want to tell us something. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, yeah, he's talking to all of you. And, and you. Nora's, gonna... mm. Nora's just going to be like nine on a piece of that yummy jerky. <laughs> <laughs> Sandwich between two pieces of the mildewy cheese. Yum, yum, yum. Mm. <laughs> Delectable. What if it's one of those cheeses that's meant to have mildew on it? It's probably delightful. It's not. Ooh. Okay. Oh. <laughs> this is a very wet cheese. <laughs> oh, no. Now you're not sure it's supposed to be that either. <laughs> so disgusting. She's like so gonna eat it. Uh, Jaira, what are you doing at this point? Uh, yeah, I'll just walk over to where Reggie has politely summoned us. What do you want? I don't know. They want to tell us something. Well, are we all here? <laughs> <laughs> Gestures around at the others, like, all right, all right. Uh, yeah, you'll turn back to the others and be like, okay, we're here. <laughs> <laughs> Ready. 
<laughs> we all make a pose. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure, I'm Mr. Sure. Regiment. <laughs> Can we do like the family magic girl, but with us and do a musical number for them? I'd like that. Sure, if you if you write that and don't infringe on uh, any copyright, sure we'll perform it next session. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 Targal just kind of uh, takes a swig out of uh, a canteen uh, and kind of wipes his mouth. Uh, When we get to Cove, and he just kind of, uh, like he just like his his brow furrows, um, and he kind of stares. He kind of looks at Richter and looks back at the five of you. <sighs> Look, it's not a particularly safe spot, and. The guy who runs the show there, not a particularly nice chap. You can't run in with weapons drawn, shouting after some nun. But you said she wasn't a nun. (laughs) You didn't think she was a nun, did you? Yeah, so her, she'll be the first they kill. And he, points, he, he points at Diara. That's actually pretty Diara. standard. That's par for the oh. course. She elbows Ulra. Umbra. Ulra! <laughs> that was James. That wasn't it's Umbra. Form. Umbra wouldn't say it. Umbra would Look, just think it. I'm not fucking joking with the five of you. you said I lost home. three people the last time we went to Cove. Bites tongue about losing more than that just recently. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, you said this is her home. I mean, I assume she'll be defended there. She's not the problem. The problem is the guy that owns the fucking town. And he's who? Marek Ferrin. Oh, yeah, I'm Marek. assuming along with the rest of what's happened in the last 20 years, that name doesn't ring a particular bell to the five of you either. Nope. No, it, it, clearly it doesn't because you really wouldn't be acting like a bunch of children if, if you did. He's notorious. There wasn't a ship on the fucking seas that did not know that name, that, that didn't know his flag. And four years ago, when Marek felt like retiring, felt like taking a town, he just steered his boat into Cove and took it. Anyone stupid enough to fight him? Well, (laughs) Marek calls his crew the Skull Hoarders. Don't test him. Or your head goes in the box. We're not going to need to fight him, though, right? There's no... Like, he's not... Just... Like, he's not giving safe haven to her, is he? The only person Marek Farin gives safe haven to is himself. But it's his town. His port... And there is nothing that goes on in there that he doesn't fucking know about. Well, then how does the blessed sister get away with moseying on in there? Because she's probably not asking questions. Fair. So how do you think we should approach this then, in your infinite wisdom? Richter and I, and Richter has kind of gotten very quiet. Uh, And uh, Targal puts a hand on his shoulder. 
Richter lost his sister the last time in Cove. I'm sorry. They don't take any law that isn't written by Ferrin seriously. They don't recognize the agency of king, queen, empress, high priest. The only one they answer to is Marek Ferrin. Anybody that had sense fled. Anyone that didn't is either in his pocket now or is so petrified of their life that they'll do whatever he says for fear of losing their own. And there's no way of getting to this guy, I assume. Oh. If Marek wants to see you, you'll be got. I'm just not comfortable bringing my family into a place like this where they are in constant danger. I'm not up for that right now. We, we're we going into a dangerous place. Can we not? Sure. You can forget about getting back whatever it is that she stole from you because the more time we <coughs> waste, the more likely it is to have been fenced and put on a fucking boat to God knows where. Yeah, no, that's that's not ideal. I'm just <laughs> telling you, whatever urge any of you, and he now looks specifically at Nolra and Regiment, have to raise an axe, and he cuts to Diara, or a fucking eyebrow. <laughs> She arches an eyebrow. (laughs) (laughs) Don't. Or your head, all our heads, go in the box. We have to do this properly, and we have to do this quietly. Now, maybe, maybe the vulture isn't holding up in the town we don't know we've tracked her movements it's the only place she could go i'm just telling you whatever marik says whatever marik does do not react Okay. Fine. Uh, we, we may not even have to talk to him, though. If we just go in and out, ask where Tilda is, maybe he doesn't even have to know that we're there. Marek will know we're there. We just need to draw as little attention to ourselves as possible. Oh, we're very discreet. Yes, as is evident by the burning wreckage and the grease puddle up outside the burning orphanage, you said? It, it we was. Didn't it was in fine. It was it, already in fine. It was actually a joke. Um, no, we're not very discreet. Is there anywhere? Is there anywhere that's like nice and safe? Like at all? Like, keeping in mind we're not familiar <laughs> with kind of this whole region, really. Is there anywhere that's kind of not just a whole disaster? You could make your way north to Cashlin, uh, but you're not getting in without papers. Who is it you work for again? I didn't say. Could you tell us now? No. Oh, okay. Ooh, that sounds secretive. Who I work for isn't really of concern, and we've already addressed this matter. We will pay you for your assistance. But if it comes down to, and I'm promising you this, if it comes down to Richter and I, the five of you in there 
you're on your own. Oh, well, I wasn't even giving you a second thought, so that's fine. <clears throat> he looks at you. He just kind of just turns to you, Umbra. You are probably the most responsible looking one of the five of you. Just keep them in check. Unless you want to see one of them die. None of us are going to be dying. And keeping them in check is actually quite tough. But, um, <laughs> but genuinely, no. We've, um, I think... Do you know what? I think actually for starters, Nora, that's their meat and weird cheese that you're eating. So like, don't be, don't be mean. They're sharing, you know? She's going to make eye contact with Targal and just shove the remaining cheese really <laughs> slowly into her mouth. <laughs> and chew on it and act like she's enjoying the moistness. <laughs> oh no. Targal doesn't react. Be a bit of politeness. That's all we ask. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate that, sister. Um, we'll we'll keep the head down. No, no responding to provocation is the big thing, right? That's my motto. There's a big lightning bolt shaped hole going through several of our family members. <laughs> Look, she shot first, so. <laughs> We're going to leave in about 15 minutes. I would suggest you pack up whatever it is you want to bring with you. But we're leaving in 15 minutes. Fine. I don't okay. really have much to pack up. I mean, I did find some supplies in the barn, so that's good. Yeah, guys, can we just have a little chat for a second away from those two? Yeah. No, we're just going to like gesture for them to come over. I don't. I'm just going to crouch down a little bit so that they can, in case they can lip read, they can't see her face. <laughs> <laughs> and she's just going to say to them, look, that guy might be an asshole, but he was a tough enough adversary. So if he says that this Mark guy is tough, then I think we ought to believe him. And if there's any chance in there that one of you is in trouble, Umbra, I know your vo it was your vial that's gone, but I'm not taking any chances with any of you. We're gone. I have a question. Yeah. Who are we going to say that we are this is the thing though is that i really want to know who he's working with because if somebody asks us who we're working with we can just tell them just telling somebody the truth is a lot less interesting than saying no oh, we don't know where we're from well he That's had suggested that questions. we were mercenaries so i guess we say that and point to him as our leader mm. oh, God. should we come up with a collective name for ourselves with that no, absolutely not. Absolutely not. <laughs> no good can come of this. Really think we had something there for that. <laughs> okay, well, that's all I'm saying. If it gets too dicey in there, we're leaving. Yeah, but like, are we giving our real names? Well, I mean, oh. if we've apparently been missing for 20 years, who's going to know who we are? But this is why I think nobody's going to know our collective name. Well, it's we more... It's a lot easier to get across. It's more if... But if we give our names... It, whatever name we give, there's a chance that it comes back to bite us in the ass, right? It's not about people knowing where we came from. It's about people who... It's about whatever trouble we get into from here on out. People will know to look for us. Mm. We are not discreet. Know, but... Guys, we're not discreet. <laughs> we're not, but we're also not a threat to anybody. I mean... We literally just got here. We just got here. We don't have any collateral or anything. 
I mean. And I guess we kind of need money. I mean, wherever we end up going, we try and follow this through as long as it doesn't get too dangerous. And then oh, we just. What, what if we just stay in Cove and just be pirates and stuff like that? <laughs> that sounds great. I mean, it's I think I'd make a great pirate. I to mean, be honest. the closer we are to danger, the further we are from home. Yeah, yeah, you don't shit in your own doorstep. I don't. <laughs> I, I think we're mixing metaphors and that the first one wasn't true. The second one, I've definitely seen one of you do that once. Um, I, it was regiment. <laughs> <laughs> Very ill. And it was your bedroom. <laughs> was he that. thought it was the bedroom door. He thought he was in the bathroom. Yeah. Umbra stood in it when he got up the next morning. Yeah. <laughs> I've had that dream. It's fine. In his bare feet. Oh, oh Laura. <laughs> I can't the light I can't even distinguish now. Um, there is one thing, and I'm I promise I'm not saying this because I want to get my thing back. I do want to get my thing back. But there is something to be said, and he looks over his shoulder kind of conspiratorially. There is something to be said for not letting kind of a, a a relic of a god kind of just work its way around underground circles so i i get wanting to yes if it's too dangerous we can go but like whatever this is is probably not a good thing to have just kind of floating around the world you know i doubt she knows what it is yeah well i mean they did say she was we like don't God's even know sight. what it is can they take out hers and just see what it looks like does it look like a precious item it's in in your hands, uh, Muni, it's just a it's a glass vial. It it looks like something you might see in a medicine kit or like uh, like Umbra had a few of these like little they're like little test tubes almost like little bottles. Um, and around uh, now that you're actually kind of examining it, around the cork there's a piece of there's a piece of twine holding or, or rather wrapping a um what you can now see as a piece of paper. Oh can, can I unravel it? You can, and if you'd like to make some time while Declan finds the document because he <laughs> closed it. Uh, These idiots are never gonna examine their vials. <laughs> um you yeah, I found it. Thank you. Sorry. Um, I just, I actually closed. This is the second time I've done this. The last time I closed the, the call. Um, <laughs> yeah, I know. I'll just do it on James again. Bye. <laughs> uh, <coughs> there, um, Mooney, inside you see this sort of uh, pearlescent liquid that in your hand, there's a faint glow um, from the bottle and the liquid uh, within it. Um, it is incredibly cold. Like it's not hurting you, but it feels cold. It it, it feels like something that would have been kept in cold storage uh, or the cold press um, that uh, Mrs. Wall would, was often giving out to you about. But as you unravel the the, the twine around the cork, uh, the piece of paper kind of coming loose, uh, held in place by the twine, um, you see. Uh, words just as you draw it out your own path is never the easiest to walk stride tall step forward bold and bright hold your own they'll come to love your light Midia unyielding that's very nice so there is one thing that I'm thinking um we're going here and we're a bunch of nobodies. So really we shouldn't have that much to worry about. But Victor just said that he lost his sister last time they were there. So maybe they're going to be looking out for him. And maybe we might be more in danger of being around him more than we would be just being in Cove. Even, so, yeah, I never thought is, of it. Is I... there anything to say about getting there and maybe going our own way? 
we be trying to find Tilda by ourselves and not trying to get muddled up in their business. And what, not meet up with them afterwards? I don't know. Just ghost them. It's just something I thought might be worth pointing out. Because he said that themselves, if they if we get into trouble, that nerds is going to leave us. I mean, but what if they get into trouble? I think it's more likely that they're going to get into trouble than we would. I mean, well, I like mean, we're just a bunch of nobodies. He's a pretty good shot, so he would be. That only to means that people night. shoot at him a lot. He's gotten good for a reason. <laughs> he's had a lot of like, practice. Why would they go back to Cove if they thought that they were going to be in danger? Surely that nun can't, can't be worth that much money. Well, she's obviously taken a lot of valuable stuff, so another is going to take out scene that Mooney got a little fortune cookie note on her vial. <laughs> another is going to take hers out and violently shake it and see what happens <laughs> and see if there's a note on hers. It explodes. Right. This is an explodes. Um... <laughs> Uh, I, I'm assuming that all of you are going to follow suit uh, at this point, mm -hmm. with, with the exception of Umbra, who does not have his. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the arrow will wait. She's not going to read hers. Okay. Oh, okay. Um, I'm going to get yours later and read it. <laughs> <laughs> you, uh, Nolra, as you uh, pull the, the string from yours, um, you see the words fury in battle in blood in his very nature call out his name Kaga's wrath and is my is the liquid in mine different to nope, Mooney's? It's still, it's still a glowing kind of shimmering liquid and feels cold to the touch as well yeah, yeah. Regiment, same thing you want to add two? Okay, in for it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely yeah um, again, the the, the the vial. As soon as you kind of pull it out, you hold it in your hand. It starts to glow, and like it's not it's not a bright light, um, but there is light emanating from it. Blood and bones, bricks and stones, mud and dirt, rock and earth. We were born from dust, and to dust we return. Embrace Olam's resolve. What's that mean? <laughs> No. Do you not know what you're mean? I know I know what mine means. What's yours mean? I'm not telling you. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm actually gonna give you inspiration for that. <laughs> <laughs> As she frantically like you can see her brain working trying to figure this out. <laughs> Come here though, right? If we're possibly getting into danger and you know your man lost three men last time and all that kind of crack. These are valuable and not things we want to lose or leave or anything. And I know she said, you'll know when the time is right. But I don't know. I know I'm being hasty, but can we not just drink them now so we're not worrying about losing them or them getting stolen or being as stupid as Umbra with them? Umber no gives way. you the, the most dead-eyed stare you've ever received. <laughs> I think I just want to hang on the line for now. Yeah, yeah no, I are. know I I know you're right. I just I just worried, you know. You know what mom just... was like, Regman? She wouldn't tell us something so flippantly. It's I think we have to take what she said to heart, so and yeah. I'm sorry, Umber. I wanna I wanna it's get fun. yours back. I know. We're going to do. But we're we going to get them back. It's just whether or not we're going to do it with them lot. That remains to be seen. Because I, he's lost three men here before. Why are we going in with him? <laughs> I mean, he's lost three men there before. He's lost a bunch of men just there now as well. Yeah, that's oh, right. Maybe he's not great with it. Yeah, Laura's going to turn around to them and say, Hey, do they not know your guys' faces now? You said you've been here before. Yes, and we learned our lesson. And why are you going back? It's not because you've got us now, is it? Are we going to be the new men that we're going to lose? Not intentionally. Oh, no. You're telling me you're just going to walk in here and no one's going to pay any notice to you? 
like I said to you already, the second we step foot, Marek will know. Yeah, he'll know and what he's we not, do. Oh, he's not worried that he'll know and then he'll call for you. Be like, yeah, I got your sister. Now I'm going to get the brother. Ah. Rooney? Rooney? I'm sorry, I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> the last time we were in Cove, And Richard kind of steps forward. The last time we were in Cove, Mala cracked off about the Skull Hoarders being a bunch of Skull Fuckers. Oh, no, you don't say things like that. That's kind of funny. <laughs> he got at her in front of me. Oh, um, no, that's a bit oh, too no, much. Yeah, that was far too far. Targal just kind of uh, again just takes a step towards the five of you. You can come with us. You can go in by yourself. My advice to you doesn't change. At Is least any... with us, you'll be part of our crew and not strangers. Well, who do we say we are if we're asked? You tell them you work for Tarko. That's it. Okay, great. Let's go. Let's go. After you, uh, Nora's going to gesture to Targal and Richter. They are um, going to step forward. <laughs> <laughs> Nora's going to reef her back by the collar. <laughs> they head off um, having kind of put the, the fire out. And there's only a small little one, um, just for warmth more than anything else. Uh, they head off uh, down a dirt road um, through the, the thick of trees. Uh, is there anything any of you want to be doing at this point, or are we good to to move? Uh, um, did, did we get a short rest here? Short or? rest. Yeah, you can take a short rest at this point if you wish. Um, I'm, as I'm we're okay to roll some good dice. Yeah, sorry, Alish. Um, As we're walking, <coughs> she's just going to say to Umbra, um, I won't drink mine until we find yours. He doesn't meet her uh, eyes, but he just kind of, he says, I didn't. I didn't think someone was just going to steal it straight away, you know? I thought, like, I wasn't I wasn't not careful with it, you know? Nobody thinks that. They're just being dickheads. It's how they show their love. What do you think mom's doing? I don't know. Do you think she kills people? You think she like personally does it or she's like I'm sure she has minions. She seems like the type. Yeah. You keep those eyebrows we down, have okay? Minions. No, we don't have minions. <laughs> no, we don't have minions. <laughs> who would what who would we have? I don't know. These two knuckleheads. She gestures at Nolan and Reggie. <laughs> Minions are supposed to do Minions. what you say. I mean, yeah, I guess. The kids were kind of like Minions. Do you think oh, they're they here? Definitely didn't do what I said. Do you think they're like grown ups now? Oh God, I hope not. Uh. <laughs> their hair's getting flashbacks. <laughs> huh? They're probably dead. Then she just gets this horrible sinking feeling in her stomach. Didn't like how that one made you feel, huh? Nope. He puts an arm around her and starts walking back towards the rest. Oh. Yeah, as they're walking, Nora's just kind of just gesturing aimlessly and just not really addressing any of them in particular and just kind of saying, so... Do any of you actually remember your real parents? I don't. No. 
No? Yeah. Yeah? I remember they didn't want me. Sorry, I didn't mean to bring that up. Never mind. Never mind. Let's let's go. She tried to do a Just... thing. She tried to do a thing there. It didn't work out, huh? Didn't Shut up, Umbra. Out. Shut up, Umbra. Shut up. <laughs> She's just going to march on. March on. What was that whole thing about the dwarves? What was that whole nothing. thing? About there your... was nothing. I said nothing. It was just at the heat of battle. It was my rage. It was my rage. You know. That's never happened before, before, though. Yeah, I know. That's, okay. that's funny, that's right? Nice. That's a weird yeah, thing. That's funny. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> do, you, do you think we're actually, <laughs> do you think we're like like blood related? You and me. Yeah. <laughs> She's just gonna keep walking. Ha ha ha. Oh, I just hope so not. much. <laughs> really shut up. Oh no. <laughs> when her beard comes in, y'all will be dead ringers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to find your violin and go smash it. Especially because I can go giant now. You know, we'd be. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah temporarily, yeah. temporarily, yeah. go giant. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Enjoy that. Enjoy knocking your head off lintels. Can't wait. <laughs> go giant in there. You just go. You march on in there. You march into Cove and you just say, "Hey, go giant. Hey, Tilda, come here." Because you're so giant now and you're cool. You could just do it, Regiment. This is a little harsh and a lot. <laughs> <laughs> because nobody was talking about their parents. Is that do you wanna do you wanna circle back no. to that one? No. Okay. See you later. Bye. Targo, Mr. Do you wanna just talk? Oh okay. No. <laughs> <laughs> Not to the five of you, anyway. <laughs> Is the mud puppy still there? Well, not the no, the mud, the mud puppy. No, the mud puppy. No. Rasik is still here. Yeah, Rasika. Nora's going to go up to Mooney and just kind of tittle the bag a little bit and just say, "Hey, hey, Sasaka, any any words of wisdom?" That you don't hear anything, but then there's a very, very bad smell coming from the bag. <laughs> oh no, Mooney, was that you? <laughs> Mary doesn't think it's bad, but she is just going to like have a little peek in. Oh yeah, then there's just a puff of gas right out of the Oof. bag. Oh yeah. no! Oof. You dutched oven yourself there, Mary. <laughs> oh no! Gasica. What does that mean? It's, it's Gasica. Oh. Gasica. Very good. Very good. <laughs> How is we Brassica? Is he all right? Is he doing okay? He just kind of he just kind of yawns. Ah. Oh. I. I would you would you do me a favor, Moni? Of course. What do you want? Would you just tell the loud one? Just 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 for me to her. Shut it. Oh. What just say, say? Just, just say it for me right now. Please. Oh no, I don't I don't want to say that. It'll make me feel so better, Moni. It'll make me feel really better. It will make you feel better, okay? Look at cutie is. What did he say? He asked you to shut it. Shut up. <laughs> shut up. Why, why, why does she not understand simple instructions, Mooney? Shut she... your mouth is what he means. <laughs> is that what he said? Is that what he said? See, the, the short idiotic one gets it. Uh, no, it's Sasaka. So oh, Sasaka. So like you it. think that Nolra and Umbra, or not Umbra, Regiment, a stripper. What do you think of Diara and Umbra? Yeah. What's your opinion on them two? Oh, <laughs> Moni, I, I, I haven't had the the delight of spending time in their company, but no doubt they are just just as book smart as the other two. What oh. did he say about them? He thinks that they're quite stupid as well. But I don't think that's true. I just think you need to spend a wee bit more time with them, to be honest. Does he need to be with us? Can we not just leave him here? I'm sure. No, he has to come. He's one of the people. He has to come with us. He's one of us. Well, I mean, can he at least, like, can he bite people? Is he any use? Does he just fart in your bag? What else does he do? (laughs) Well, he does a lot of things. He sleeps a lot and he eats a lot and he keeps me company and he makes me feel really good. Meaning I do that. Yeah, and you heard me around in a bag. I know, but I also don't leave you back here either. Fair. And also, I'm adorable, so there's he that. He is really cute. He said that he's adorable, and that's true. He's not the fly all the time. 
Now, hang on. Badgers are <laughs> hardly smarter than people, right? Do you want us to call people, Bio right? the hole before we go? No, I agree, Umbra. He's not smarter than us. Hmm. Like, he's not smarter than people. He's a little no, guy. His brain's like this big. Enough for a day, but he seems really small. Mooney. Yeah. Ask them what's in the glass jars. Do you know what's in the glass jars? Ask, ask, ask your, ask your brothers and sisters what's in the glass jars. He Brassicus smiling asked, up at you now from the bag. He's asked me to ask you if you know what's in the glass jars. Magic. I get a gift from Muff. She looks in the bag. Hmm. Oh, it, it, it's cute. The the two dumbest ones elated to some sort of festive holiday giving thing. Cute. Tell them, Mooney, I'll tell them what's in the jars. If they're nicer to me. <laughs> <laughs> Brassica says that he's going to tell us what's in the jar, but we have to be nice to him. I think that's easy. Okay, that'll be practice for when we get to Cove. Just put on a brave face, Nora. Okay. Brassica, Brassica. Could you, could you tell me what's in them? Oh, Mooney, I, I tell you what. Yeah. If at the end of this little sojourn to that delightful spot that you're dragging us to, uh, if we survive that, I'll tell you what's in your jar. Okay. But you're going to help me survive, aren't you? And, and his, his little paw comes up out of the bag a little bit and it touches yours. Oh. Maybe. That's very cute. This is like... <laughs> <laughs> Squeezes his little paw and just like, just hops the bag a little bit. So he just like, he falls back down into his little bed like nice and cozy and off she trots. Cute. Yeah, Nora's going to take a bit of the jerky and just... Show to the bag and just whisper at him, you take care of my sister, okay? And then yeah. walk off. Uh, I don't care what he says. He, he, <laughs> he, he, just, he just flings the jerky out of the bag. No, not the cheese. <laughs> quietly, no, to like, the cheese. <laughs> quietly to Regiment and they are, Umbra's like, that badger's an asshole. <laughs> yeah, like, why did you say this? Now? Like, you wouldn't have thought, you, like, I thought, like, now badgers are kind of ornery anyway like why a badger why couldn't she have gone with like a, a bunny you know I don't know it's Mooney like it could have been worse mm. <laughs> fair point do you know what I mean yeah. At least it was it's originally not. going to be a possum <laughs> <laughs> what do you think Brassica ah <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God. At least if she had a seagull that could go up and scout for us or something. He's just a fat ass in a bag. But anyway. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, uh, has a little notebook and he's writing down all the mean things you've been saying. Fat S <laughs> in <laughs> bag. <laughs> uh, <Not> C-H. <laughs> Nora is a big swag. <laughs> <laughs> As you um, as you continue your journey through the woods um, and out uh, the other side, the, the the it's now kind of well into the evening, and the sky is a kind of a grey, um, burnt orange. Uh, you see uh, the road kind of dwindled down um, a path, and at the bottom of it, you see. You can see kind of plumes of smoke um, erupting from houses and buildings. Uh, you can see uh, a long uh, wooden harbour and you can see the sea. You can see it, it's a black um, and churning mass that seems to span the horizon being swallowed up only by the clouds uh, at the edge. The air is cold. There's the strong smell of sea salt and smoke. And you can see lights flickering uh, at the, the base of the hill where 
Targo points and just says Cove. The village on the south and west is flanked by large um, by large ditches. You see the, the makings of fortifications, but nothing as uh, complete or as stalwart as fortress walls or anything. It seems to be they've used a natural embankment and kind of piled up a lot of debris around it. From here, and even from here, you can tell the town is looking, or the village of Cove, it's looking fairly haphazard. It's looking like it's seen better days. Targal and Richter continue on. Do we kind of, well, I, I can't talk for the others, but does Nolra recall like any, what she could identify as real memories of like a seascape or have been on the sea before? Give me a wisdom saving throw. Ooh. Oh, sorry, no, it wasn't that a saving throw. Uh, just a wisdom check. Wisdom sorry. check. That is a two. <laughs> nope. What is the C? <laughs> <laughs> you don't. You don't it's ever. You have no memories of seeing the sea. Okay. Ever. Weird. Yeah, that's gonna gonna give her give her a little shiver but she'll try and compose herself and and just shake her head and she's just thinking like this is all Elaria is doing like she messed with our heads and she's just trying to not let it get to her and she'll deal with that later there's more pressing matters everybody else so we never really lived in cove We've never, as far as we know, we've never actually been here before. Uh-huh. <laughs> this isn't it, is it? This isn't right. Is it? Cove was just like a big strand of beach in one wee cottage. This is a this? little village. I mean... Little seaweed go. They could have built this since... We were here. Can you build all this in 20 years? How fast is... Bu- I should know. I'm a mason. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you built mason jars. You built mason jars. <laughs> <laughs> I guess depending on how many people they have. I, I don't know. That's too much math. Um... <laughs> Come on, let's just let's just go. Yeah, let's just. just shouts back at the five of you. Look, if you're bottling it, do it now. Turn back. If you're not ready for this, just turn back. Oh no, we're coming, love. Love and eat shot star holding their little five. Oh no, that's what he calls me. So I'm just returning the favor. Hey, should you guys, sorry, just before we get in there proper, should you guys, like, hide your ones of these in case everybody steals things here? Yeah, where's the safest place to put it? No jokes. <laughs> <laughs> what if we put it in with Brassica? I still have the box. I still have that box it was in. If you want to put them in there and then put it with Brassica. Should we put all our eggs in one basket, though? Because you remember the last time I put all the eggs in one basket? <laughs> <laughs> And then he sat on it. Yeah, we all remember Regent. <laughs> yeah, Eileen actually sat on it. Eileen Sapper sat on the eggs in a basket because <laughs> Regent oh, no. put a cushion over it thinking he'd keep the eggs safe by putting a cushion on top of them. I thought... Oh, Jesus God! Oh, my God! Oh, it was a bad... Oh, bad oh, oh, day. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, that's a horrible image. Yeah. <laughs> Richmond says, oh, you remember when I put the ba- I held the eggs in one basket? And then he just has like a thousand yard stare. <laughs> <laughs> she can still hear the screams. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my God. oh my God. Maybe I didn't thought she could hatch them. Uh, that's what I was doing with the cushion. But anyway. Um... I don't, yeah, I don't know if keeping them all together is a good idea, but then I don't know how we keep them, like, we just look after our own and I might just put mine in my jocks. <laughs> no one's going to go in there. 
Hey, for once, tar- brother, you are talking sense, and no, this is gonna go. Don't. Whoop. <laughs> <laughs> In you go. <laughs> Never to be found again. <laughs> They're going to get kind of jostled around in there, huh? Yeah, but no one's going to go in there. If they try and go in there, they're going to lose a hand, so. Um, Diara's going to just take some, like, attach it to one of the necklaces and tuck it in under her shirt. Okay. Regiment, Nora, underpants. Mm-hmm. Diara, necklace. Mooney, brassica. Was it in with Brassica, yeah. Umbra? Um, oh, yeah, never mind. <coughs> um, <Aww>. um, <laughs> yeah. Does he doesn't have one. Mm. He doesn't have one. <laughs> it's just so funny that y'all can like magically heal all your old wounds and stuff. That's cool. <laughs> That's cool you can. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, you go <laughs> for it. It's just because it's going to be hard for you to do when you're knocked out. <laughs> No, this is going to be cackling away. This is fun. <laughs> We're having fun. Yeah. Are you certain? Am I certain of what? That you want to just give this to me freely? I mean, you're going to take care of it for me, aren't you? I mean, you already take care of my spell book as well. And you take care of me. Huh. I don't trust him. He's is it too heavy? Do you want me to put it in my pocket? Not at all. I could get I, a bigger bag. Um, and as he like he he reaches up with it with his, his paws, um, as he takes it, the the vial starts to glow. Oh. And then so does Brassica. Oh. He's radioactive. Oh. Bury him. <laughs> <laughs> is that supposed to happen? You look very pretty when you go like that. It, it will pass. I oh. just need to just, and he just snatches it and he, he buries it himself down back into the bag. Okay. Are you sure you're right? I'll keep it safe. I know you will, but I just wanted to make sure that you're okay. Um, glowing. Yeah. You're beautiful. Oh. He's not like a secret god or anything, is he? He's not like Did secret god. Did we all god. see Brassica glow? Did we all just see the bag, I assume. Yeah, well, you just saw his little paws come out of it and take the thing and then go back down. Only, uh, only Mooney saw it down into the bag. Okay. Oh. She gives him a little vital, little, 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 little shuffle again and just make sure he's nice and settled. And One more of those and I'm going to be adding a couple of more colours to this spelling book of yours. Oh, do you not like it when I do that? Sorry. Oh, well, it's mostly because I've, you know, you know, I just, it's very bumpy. Oh, And I have a delicate yes. constitution of me. <laughs> oh, I won't do that anymore. Sorry, I thought I was. I thought I was making it more comfortable, well, but no, clearly one, one, I was. Once, once was fine. No, once was fine. Okay. Twice was a bit. I'm a bit. I'm a bit jostled. All right. Okay. And I I'm jostled and glowing. I. I just. Right. It's quite a lot of emotions for me in one day. <sighs> it's been a really long day, hasn't it? It's been a oh. really long day. It's been a really long couple of days. It's been like twenty years. <laughs> well. <laughs> It's been just a couple of days for us and it's been a little bit traumatizing actually. Maybe we should go to a hotel or something and take it easy. Oh, no, 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 no. now you're speaking my language. Yeah. An inn. Their finest I mean, We haven't inn. really sat down to digest everything, but we are. We haven't had anything to digest. Yeah. So... Well, let's go. Let's go to this crazy, awful little place then and not die. Yes, I'm sure they've got a lovely inn. <laughs> God, jostles the bag and then... <laughs> <laughs> oh no no you jostled he's gonna roll for constitution no <laughs> which end which end uh, that's not too bad it's a 19 he holds on to his stomach yeah not too bad Mm-mm. get out here <laughs> that's 19 for a badger <laughs> <laughs> um you you're heading down towards the the village yes no is gonna it's gonna be instinctively walk in front of the others behind Targal and Richter. As you all uh, approach, or as you get closer to the village, yeah, you can, like, it's definitely late or now uh, in the evening. And Targal just kind of looks back at the the five of you and Richter and just 
you all see him just kind of mouth not a word um and as he approaches the gate uh a tiefling and an earth ganassi approach and you see that they're wearing kind of a mishmash of half scale mail and leather armor uh the earth ganassi is missing her left eye uh she has a deep scar over it uh and what brings seven delightful strangers to the wondrous destination that is Cove? Uh, and Targal just kind of just... <clears throat> uh, I'm Targal the Hunter. I've already been uh, a visitor of the fine port of Cove. Uh, my crew, and he points at Richter and then the five of you, are looking for lodgings. Uh, we are passing through and simply mean to rest, partake of some food, ale, and be on our way. And the Earth Ganassi kind of smiles. And the, the tiefling, he's about six foot two, um, fairly broad um, and well built. Uh, and he's been kind of, he's had a, the point of a, of a short sword, just because he's been holding it, kind of twisting it into the, the glove of, of, on his right hand. Targal. Targal. Oh, yeah. You're that dumb shit who dropped three of his men here a couple years back, aren't you? Oh yeah, boss made quick work of that fucking orc. Oh, hearing that, can Nora just like step forward and just squeeze Richter by the back of the arm? Uh, Richter doesn't flinch. Okay, she's just gonna she'll let go, but she's just gonna stand there. Yeah, that was crew before. Yeah. Uh, we weren't, you know, accustomed to tradition in Cove. You can rest assured my my men, we've they, they've all been uh, made aware that, you know, Cove's laws are their own. And we will, of course, respect those. Uh, and the Earth Ganassi just kind of like just hawks um, uh, just a big bubble of phlegm up uh, her nose and then with her thumb presses the right, her left nostril and just it down um, just a couple of inches from Targal gate tax has gone up since the last time you were here uh, it's three gold pieces and she holds up two fingers <laughs> of course uh, and, may I and he just his hands go up sure uh, and he reaches down uh, to a, a purse on his side and uh, he takes out three gold pieces and two silver for both your trouble um and the earth can ask you looks at the the tiefling mm. seems like he's really wisened up since the last time uh maybe the boss wants to meet him all the same though why don't why don't i know why don't i go tell mark that targle is back um, and she takes the the three gold and the two silver and Targal nods, of, of, of course, and we'd be glad to sit with him if he so wished it, obviously. Um, but like I said, we're, we're here for perhaps no more than a day or two. And once we've rested and fed and restocked, we'll be on our way. Uh, 
just passing through to Cashlin, um, looking to pick up some work. And the Ganassi is already kind of turned and just kind of waved. Uh, and the tiefling man stands aside. And he half does a very clumsy kind of curtsy bow uh, to, the, to the to the group of you. And he gestures for you to follow in after the Ganassi woman. Nolder is going to follow, but she's positively vibrating from not saying or doing anything. <laughs> she's basically levitating past these people. <laughs> uh, you're all following in? The yep. path into Cove. <coughs> As you step through uh, the metal gates, it's just muck. There's been, there's you, you see traces of what might have been a path, cobblestone, or a stone path anyway, but it's fallen into complete and total disrepair. It's just mud, thick, foul-smelling mud. And the buildings on your left and right look half, half about to collapse, like a stiff, breeze could knock them over. Cove. It doesn't look anything like what you remember a Canuck being like. There's no charm. There's no warmth. Everything looks disheveled or dilapidated. And the path leads you into uh, uh, the village square. And here you spy several buildings the biggest of which has a flag kind of jostling back and forth in a breeze on it. And you just see a blood red flag with uh, a kind of faded white emblem emblazoned on it, a treasure chest filled with skulls, overflowing with skulls. And the top skull on the pile wears a crown. To your left or to the west, you see and hear a sign swinging in the same breeze. And you see <coughs> a, a tavern, the plowman. To your right uh, or the east, there's a path leading down to the harbor. Um, and for all the, the lights you saw flickering from the hillside, you don't see many people milling about the town. It's close to uh, night now, is it, Declan? Yeah, yeah. And there are lights in the buildings, but you don't see anybody uh, other than the Earth Ganassi woman who's disappeared into the building with the flag on it. <clears throat> Can I just throw eyes at Richter and see how does he look like? He's reacting to everything. Uh, give me an insight check. Insight. That is a 15. You see that his shoulders are... Like, yeah, they're, they're kind of tensed back. That You can see that he's kind of holding them higher. Like he's on edge. Okay. She's just going to be walking she doesn't want to leave her family behind but she's just she's going to be walking that little bit close to him and uh she'll just whisper to him everything okay uh a boss why don't i why don't i take the the new recruits and get the rooms set up and then maybe once you've talked it out with Marek, we'll, we can get a bite to eat in the plowman. Uh, and without turning to face the, the five of you and Richter, uh, Tarko just kind of nods his head. Sure, why don't I wait <coughs> to see if uh, Marek wants to uh, catch up. Um, and Richter uh, kind of turns as if he was to head down towards the harbour. And you can all hear 
you can hear waves crashing um, and you can hear the groaning of the wooden uh, docks. Um, and they're kind of just on the corner uh, as, as you would come in through the gates. There's a long uh, stone building with a thatched roof and you just uh, Richter heads straight towards it. What are the rest of you doing? I'll just glance back at the others and nod towards Richter and follow after him. Yeah, I'll follow. Lydia are we wants... sure we should be leaving him on his own? Who? Richter? No, Targo. Targo? He'll be yeah. fine, Diara. I just, we need to I want to get in, I want just want to get inside somewhere and then we can gather ourselves and figure out what we're doing next. Can Lily look over at Targal and just try to get a read of him? Does he look concerned? Does he look scared? Uh, give me an inside check, Moony. Uh, inside check. Uh, what's my insight? What is it? Uh, okay. Um, oh, it's good. Uh, 15. He seems calm. Mm. Okay. When he sees that he's calm and then nods to the others and goes after Richter. As you, uh, as Moody, as you kind of follow after the others um, and Richter uh, towards the, the single story uh, thatched roof building, uh, Richter just knocks on the door. Uh, you see faded and painted on the wall uh, next to a uh, deep forest green door uh, just the, the words Andal House. Um, there's a whispering and a murmuring coming from inside and you see kind of a light passing through the windows and then from the other side, who goes there? Who is that? It's very late, you know. Uh, and Richter just, uh, we're uh, travellers, we're, we're looking for a room, or perhaps if you, oh, travellers, so well, I have two rooms, they're available, you may avail of them, uh, because they are available. Um, how many of you are there? Uh, uh, he he kind of looks around, uh, Seven. <laughs> well, um, and uh, by by the sounds of it, uh, you all sound fairly beefy. So uh, the the rooms are quite compact. You'll you'll have to you'll have to factor that. I uh, I uh, uh, cozy. The rooms are quite cozy, and you'll have to you just you 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 love it. The the you. you you're not afraid of a bit of body heat, I assume, as you might all be thrown down together on one of our marvels, and the door swings open, and there is just this wizened old uh, uh, gnome woman. Uh, like, she literally looks... She just looks like the word old. Um, <laughs> uh, just kind of scratchy red hair, like in wisps, tufted up around her, and she's wearing a red house coat um that's just again about probably probably meant for uh a human or what because it's trailing behind her uh <laughs> and she's holding kind of a lantern um there's an immediate an immediate smell of cats uh from the house Ooh! um uh right so seven of you um oh eh, well well, this will do no good. We're going to have to split you up. Um, the women to one room, uh, the men to the other. This is a traditional household. We, or unless uh, unless you're all married. <laughs> well, I'll take well. that fella's laugh that you're not then. Okay, great. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're 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 siblings. I mean, so let's not. We're not siblings. Let's split up. <laughs> <laughs> you're... 
Oh, brothers in arms. Oh, I understand. Oh, the language, yeah, yeah, the language yeah. has changed since my time. It has. Now squeezing yeah, her this, eyes a little bit. This I, fella leads us. <laughs> <laughs> ah, well, uh, like I said, they went into one room and the, the fellas to the other. And she put the hand. It's five silver pieces per room. Uh, and we don't do board, not ever since the cats kept getting into the supplies. I'm going to look at uh, Rick there and be like, that's good, yeah. Yeah, he got that. <laughs> we all, we all need to look at Rick there. <laughs> uh, yes, yeah, yeah. And he's, he kind of pats himself down and he he, fits, <laughs> he he takes out literally a handful of coins and he kind of points them at you, Umbra. Uh, for, no, she's the one who needs the money. Oh, I don't think he can count. Yeah, I think you need to count. Oh, the money. oh yeah, sure. Yeah, okay. <laughs> this seems... No, yeah, that's... So 30, how much 35, is it? 35 silver pieces. No. I didn't know you could do maths. Ten. Oh my god. Oh, I, didn't, <laughs> I, I knew you couldn't do maths. <laughs> 10 to 35 silver pieces. I'm right at 10. <laughs> no, as in how much has he given me? <laughs> He's he's given you about forty silver pieces, a gold piece, um, and three copper. He, Your cat is, is telling you to take them all, James. <laughs> <laughs> My cat wouldn't do such a thing. Um, no. He uh, he slides out ten and just hands them to the lady. Hands the rest back to Richter. Richter, not Targle. <laughs> Cat, distract them um, quick. <laughs> Why don't like if 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 you're looking for board, like uh, you could always chance your arm over at the plowman. Uh, though the food just plows itself right through you. I'm pretty sure that's where it got its name from. Uh, no, I, I I I I'm just I'm just jostling your chain. No, 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 no. Gross. You set you set yourselves up in those rooms, and I'll get some fresh bedding put down. Um, I let the cats roam around the house. You see, well, that actually sounds little... like heaven for me. Like for Fiona, that sounds like heaven. <laughs> for Nora, that's gross. <laughs> um, where did you say? Where did you say seven of you were were were, were from? All right, so should we head to the pub, lads, or what are we doing? Oh, I'll find the cats. I'm really tired. Yeah. <laughs> what room do i have to go in she she just points she points and there's like so you walk into like a kind of a square hallway and there's doors on the left there's doors uh on the right and she just kind of points the two the two rickety white doors on the right hand side of the house uh bathrooms outside and uh the kitchen is partially outside um uh, cats you see and uh right well i'll 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 see you in the morning sleep sleep well Hang on. On. what's your name oh astrid astrid, Hi, astrid. It's nice you to can meet call you. me miss helcrow of course oh. mrs helcrow <laughs> uh <-huh>. nice <laughs> no sorry just very quickly i'm so sorry to bother you do you have um are there any clergy staying here in this place? Oh, I hope not. Okay. <laughs> no, that's fine. Sorry, I was just making sure. Are there any other guests? No, no. It's just the seven of you, me, and... and the cats. Oh, cats. Yeah, cats are cool. Any other animals in the town? Oh. I kind of like wolves. Wow. Well, I... so... that's, that's a very... That's very specific. Yeah, they're cool. I just, I just think wolves are cool. Uh, Rachel's going to pat her and be like, come on, big fella, we better go to our room. <laughs> <laughs> Diara grabs her hand and is like... He has to go in with the guys. <laughs> God, she's a fella. <laughs> I'm not going in there if Rajman grows large. <laughs> ah, ah, no, I'm like, gross. <laughs> 
Uh, okay. Lily's gonna go to the room. So you head, you head, you're heading to your rooms. Um, yeah. Looking out for it, some cats. There's Is there anyone liter- around that's not feline? Like, do we see anyone else? No, there's nobody else. Someone else? No, I, I, I would tell you. That's my job. My job is to describe things to you. And there's <laughs> no, no, you're secretive. Else. Maybe you're okay, waiting for I, us to ask. No, no, not this time. Thank you. No investigation. <laughs> I appreciate you checking in, but no, there's nobody secretive around. <laughs> um, if there is, I won't tell you. Uh, okay. Uh, you um, you open the, the door, uh, Mooney, to your room, and it's pitch dark. Ooh. And then there's just dozens of eyes <laughs> and a oh, a toxic smell of cat urine ammonia Oof. in the eyes yes yeah yeah it's love it me, 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 oh. you hear from the bag you hear from the me, 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 me. <laughs> yeah Let's sleep outside. I can't believe I'm saying this, but let's sleep outside. You can sleep outside if you want. I've slept outside lots of times. I, I just... I just don't like cats. Do you not like cats? Why do people not like cats? Well, it's the bang of piss, Mooney, really. <laughs> <laughs> the place. Well, we should probably say hello to them. I mean, it'd be um, rude to just come in and then just leave without a word. Who are you talking to? You hear from inside the room. Hi. Hello there. I'm talking to my friend Brassica. Don't name me for Christ's sake. <laughs> what do you name? That's how you get other people's names. You ask. Well, you tell them first and then, and then you ask. What's your name? Push. Push? Yeah, push. Oh, You're push. Hi, Push. Hello. Oh, my God. Hello. Uh, my name's Money. It's nice to meet all of you. Yeah, what do you want in our room? Well, we paid for this room. So no, you pay us. Oh, well, do we have to pay you as well? You have to pay us if you want to have clean sheets. Oh. <laughs> well, how much would I have to pay you? I, I I don't know. What do you got on you? What do you What do you? I don't. What do you, I honestly do you, don't have anything to be honest. I don't do you, even do you, have do you, a cup. I could go and get you something. Okay. What? What? Are we, what, what one second, one second. The cat just, and it, it, again, it's just a, a fat ginger tabby cat. And then he just turns around to the other cats. <gasps> what, 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 and they all kind of huddle up around. What do we want? Like, what, do we... <laughs> what do we hear? Just like... <laughs> yeah, just, you hear... <laughs> <laughs> from inside the room. And Mooney talking to them. Meow, 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 meow. Um... Right, so the lads and myself have decided on if we want three roast beef sandwiches. Oh, right, three roast beef sandwiches. <laughs> yeah. For clean sheets. No, for the sheets Hi. to stay clean. To stay clean. Okay, three roast beef sandwiches. Um, uh, Rudy steps into the room and she like closes the door after. Um, how much would it be for information on a certain person in town? Because we're looking for someone and we don't really know where to start. And yous might be a good start. Push turns to the other cats and he just starts, again, conversing. We can't decide on a price until we've had the first price. Okay. Um, so basically, um... Me and my siblings have had something stolen from us, and we think that the person who stole from us came through here, and her name is Tilda. Uh, that might not be her real name, though, and she rode in in a big wolf, and we need to find her as quietly as we can, and then hopefully leave. And I've also got a really bad cold, so I'm really sorry about that. <laughs> All the cats have just been staring up at you, Money. And then you see that their heads are just, and they look past you and they're looking at something kind of flitting around the room. Uh, I'm, so, I'm, so, I'm sorry. When are we getting the roast beef sandwiches? I mean, I can go get them now if you want. Yeah, we, we, we uh, push and he points back at a, a white and black cat behind him uh, and push just kind of like his tail curls up a little bit. Uh, 
push says not to negotiate on empty stomachs. So, oh, so I'll go get those, and you can maybe think about think about what I just said, and I'll go and get them. Okay, bye. She yeah, you just you just hear from the you hear from the, the ginger cat that you're talking. What, what is she saying? Uh, uh, and <laughs> they're now debating about what you were actually talking about. <laughs> Oh, you just like, close the door behind there. <laughs> yeah, you close, okay, you close the door behind. Yeah. <laughs> Rainy, what uh, the hell? What I have to that? go and get roast beef sandwiches. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're going to leave, Minnie? She's going to make her way to the plowman. No, no, you're not going by yourself, Minnie. What the hell? I need to go get sandwiches or they're going to piss all over the seats. Who? The cat's called Pish. <laughs> Really? <laughs> oh my god. I'll get the sandwiches. You're not leaving. You're not going anywhere. No, well, listen, I think it's a good idea. I think that if we want to get information on where, you know, Tilda might have gone, I think instead of going around and asking people with you know, might, you know, kill us, we ask the cats. Cause what are they gonna do? I mean, that smell might kill us. Yeah. I and, and I could eat. Yeah. How are we gonna pay for the sandwiches? I don't Richter. Big Richter, <laughs> Richter has come back from putting his stuff in the room. Richter. Richter, will you buy us some sandwiches in the plowman? Could you come I... with me to go get some sandwiches? <laughs> Richard's such an asshole to this poor man. <laughs> we can, we'll go get Targo and then we'll get something to eat. Um, thank you, Mrs. Hellcrow. 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 He threw. Uh, <laughs> he threw airport. Uh, <laughs> there's a knock at the door. Um, uh, oh, we've no rooms. There's none available. They've been availed of. You'll have to go find somewhere else. We're fully booked. It's only got two rooms. Um, and uh, you just hear Targill's voice from the other side, and Rich says that he's one of the guests staying. Uh, the fella's room, then, obviously, you know, and I'll be checking on you. Make sure that there's no <coughs> dallying between the bedrooms. Yeah, Targal, you're with me. <laughs> Wink. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Richter opens the door and you see uh, Targal standing there uh, and he is uh yeah, his nose is broken. Oh. oh no, I don't think it went very well, did it? Uh, what happened? Uh, I met uh, Mark. Ah, oh, you met Mark. Ah, oh, he's a lovely fella. Mm -hmm. Oh, ah, oh, he's ah, oh, he's ah, uh, he's an angel. You just hear from the gnome lady inside. Oh, he gets me salts for my back. And what met your face? Uh, it was just simply a greeting between friends. So and is there any problem with us being here? None. Uh, we have 18 hours. So why don't we go get something to eat? We can stock up in the morning and we can be gone before sunrise set, sunset tomorrow. There's not going to be any trouble, Targal. <coughs> Is there... There's going to be absolutely no trouble at all. Can we get roast beef? <laughs> In sandwiches, apparently. We're, we're, of course, we can go across the yard into the square and into the plowman for something to eat. Why not? Dara's like staring at him and touching her nose and she's like, "You, do you want me to fix that? I think he should. I think he, should. he bites his lip and then you just hear a crunching sound as he yeah, absolutely not that. how you do that. Not how you do that, bud. I've always wondered how you do that. I don't think I can. Not do how that you do that. Face. That's how my aunt did it, and that he. That's cool. Uh, he crosses. He yeah. He turns back. Rooms are sorted. Uh, right, Richter and Richter nods. Uh, uh, you drop your stuff. Mm -hmm. Heading with. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I, I, oh, we're, yeah, we're I going fully strapped, struggle. right? Yeah, are we allowed to be walking around with our weapons, or? Just, they stay sheathed, they stay on your backs, they stay on your side. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. 
It's fine. This can't is... shade these. <laughs> this is fine. <laughs> Jazz hands. <laughs> Big bony fear bull cans. <laughs> you head uh, across the square towards the plowman, and you, yeah, you see it. Uh, it's fairly kind of lit up. Um, it's stone walled, fairly simple building. Uh, the windows are shuttered, obviously, against because it's on the coast, storms and strong winds and whatnot. Uh, of all the buildings that you've seen here, it's probably the most taken care of. Um, and as you open the doors, there is a, there is a waft of stale ale uh, that hits you all. Uh, you get the smell of smoke and <coughs> fat and grease. Um, you can hear people talking. Inside, you see a rather large fireplace uh, with a fire burning in it. Several tables peppered around uh, with people kind of set around them playing cards or playing dice game um, and at the bar uh, as the door opens uh, you just hear uh, oh well welcome to the plowman ale house and turning around you see a red haired halfling woman uh, her hair pulled back to one side and all of you see Sister Tilda Buckweed cleaning glasses. And we'll take a break there. Oh, I choke the bitch. No, <laughs> I don't choke the bitch. Don't go to break on that. <laughs> <laughs>
There's not even like a <laughs> countdown to like finish a mouthful of crisps. <laughs> yeah, really spread up to that. I don't know how much leeway you thought you had when I said 30 seconds, but it was in fact 30 <laughs> seconds worth of leeway you had. Like, I know how countdowns work, but like I waited until the last watching. five seconds to shove crisps into my mouth. And I, I thought. And I then two. Personally, yeah. for me, it's part of the thrill. <laughs> the fear the fear will that lump go down will I die who knows will there be a 360 <laughs> I'm going to choke live on stream oh, oh. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> welcome back welcome back welcome back um, and if you are just joining us at this point um, we've well they've found their way to Hove um Targo, their new employer with a broken nose. Mooney with a faint aroma of ammonia. Um, <laughs> and six and a half very wide-eyed stares as the group come face to face, almost face to face, uh, with a with a red-haired halfling woman who looks remarkably like Tilda Buckweed. Remarkably, um, like welcome, to, welcome to the plowman. Um, uh, can I, can I help? Can I help you? Targo, that's her. I'm well aware, Regent. <laughs> All right then, a table for seven, if you have it. Oh, oh, uh, <laughs> oh, um, uh, uh, Dad, would you? Would you help? Could you? Could you? Could you? Could, sorry, we don't. We don't. We don't usually. Seven, um, we can. We can take a couple of tables and we can. We can mash them together. You. I mean, you might have to. You might be a bit. A bit cramped, but. Uh, and you just see the sour-looking, <coughs> dwarven man, just come out from the back kitchen. Uh, just this thick, thick, wispy, sandy beard, uh, pulled into a thick braid in front of him. Uh, a rather bulbous uh, nose uh, that sort of shrinks the rest of his face, like a, like his nose fills his face. Um, uh, wisps of hair kind of just like strewn across the top of his head, and he kind of stares at the seven of you, uh, pulls at his bracers, uh, rolls up his sleeves, and slaps a dishcloth over his shoulder. <sighs> and he walks over, and he just starts shoving tables together. Can I... Uh... Can I get the seven of you anything to, to, to drink? Nora's going to be digging her nails into her palms right now. And biting her lip like she's nearly drawing blood right now. But she's just going to be staring at this woman. Um, Not saying anything, just staring at her. What good? Oh, um... Ale? Yeah, great, great. Yeah, seven of them. Great stuff. Thanks. Seven ales. Okay, yeah. Um, sure. Uh, and she starts to, yeah, she just starts to fill mugs with ale out of a barrel and put them on a tray. And uh, the the dwarven man that she named Christoph has kind of pushed together, kind of two two small rectangular tables against a circular table and kicked a few uh, stools around them. Um, there's a card set kind of sitting like spread across the table uh, <coughs> and yeah she she kind of swans over to the seven of you um dare is gonna give her like a really like her best friendly smile and be like you look so familiar do you ever 
Did you ever get that before? Roast beef. We need roast beef. We if... do. We need roast beef sandwiches. <laughs> um, I, I can see what we have left. I, I, I don't know what we might have as far as... Uh, I'll just check with my dad. Yeah, yeah, daddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just watching us all staring at this poor yeah, she's just, we're just, I'm just here staring at her. <laughs> if you could maybe I'm so, I'm get sorry. Us... Is everything okay? Totally fine. Just go, go, to, yeah, go check on the beef sitch. We're starving. It's, it, it's just, and she kind of points at Umbra. He, he's just staring at me. Ah, his brain doesn't work like the others. So just, you know, just leave him be. Okay. Uh, roast beef sandwiches. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Seven. Three. Um, Three sandwiches. Four. Three. Actually, four. 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 Four sandwiches. Okay. Four. Is, is it four. seven, four, or three? Because it's, it's four. seven of you. It's 743 sandwiches. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, it's, 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 it's four. It's four and three, which is which is in fact seven. He's paying it. Roger, does he pay? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah, seven. Eight? Eight. I'll have two. Jesus <laughs> I'll just see what we have. Yeah. Okay. Just make a bunch of them, sure, and just bring it out to us. It's just a you bunch know, of sandwiches. Okay. You know, like it has to be roast beef. Like a platter, like a funeral platter. Oh. Of, uh... <laughs> a funeral platter <laughs> of roast. I'll just check with that. Yeah. Do you um, want any should... help? N no. Okay. No, I I think I can manage a I, whatever order. whatever you ordered. I think I got that. Uh, <laughs> and she just she just backs away. There's a few people in the bar. You recognize the the tiefling man from earlier, and he's staring intently at the seven of you. And Targal is just like, <clears throat> and he starts to kind of pick up the cards on the table and starts to kind of like shuffle them together. What the fuck is going on, Targal? I have no idea. Is there a back way out of here that we need to watch? I think we should just beat the shit out of her with a... <laughs> Are we sure that's her, though? Maybe it's like a sister or something. Maybe we can... think that's her. Could I make an inside check to see how genuine her seeming confusion was? Yeah. <coughs> you may. Twenty-one total. <gasps> she seemed utterly bewildered and a little uncomfortable with you in particular as you eyeballed her. Oh no, that's like not okay, she, Umbra. She seemed frightened. Um any chance any chance till the buckweed has siblings? Um, we could ask. Sorry, I just saw Homebrew Show's comment. There's been a lot of cat piss. <laughs> <laughs> well, there has. <laughs> so we're just going to get our asses handed to us and then go back and sleep in a bed full of cat piss. So. Yeah, not if we get the sandwiches. <laughs> <laughs> There's cat piss in the sandwich. No, <laughs> where did I get it there? It's, it's everywhere. It's, everywhere. It's, this whole town is infused with it. <laughs> oh no, not infused. <laughs> I don't know if there is a back way. I'm assuming there is. Most taverns would have one for deliveries, but I don't. And he kind of looks. You just a, a very quick look to his left where. Um, you see a table full of uh, folk in, again, that kind of half-scale male leather armor uh, playing cards. I don't know if now is the right time to do anything. 
Can we see like into the kitchen area? Can we see in there, or has she nope. disappeared into a doorway? She disappeared behind the bar and then around the corner. The bitch is definitely gone. She's definitely gone. Uh, Minnie looks into your little bag and a brassica. Hello. <laughs> <sighs> yes. I don't suppose you want to do me a wee favour, do you? Because you're so small and I don't think no one will notice you scurrying around between people's legs. Excuse me? Do you maybe want to see if you could sneak your way into the kitchen and see if your woman is still in there? You want me yeah. to escort myself? Well, I can take you over to the bar. And then I can just set you down and, and then, you can go around the bar and just have a little peek into the kitchen. What, like some common thief turned peeping Tom? No, not a peeping Tom. More like a, just a chicken, uh, uh, not chicken, a kitchen checker. I'm sorry, I've got a cold at the minute kitchen. and the words keep like checker. merging together. Oh, the lies we tell ourselves, Mooney. The lies we tell ourselves. It keeps me up at night. <laughs> Certainly. Uh, no, it doesn't. I've heard you snoring. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I will gladly kitchen check for you. All right. Okay. What am I uh, checking the kitchen for precisely? Just making sure that she's still in there and getting enough sandwiches for everyone <laughs> and making sure she's not slipped out the back because that would be a problem. With the sandwiches or without the sandwiches? I mean, if she kept the sandwiches, that would be one problem solved. But ideally, we won't. We don't want her slipping out the back. But if she does, then you can just come back and tell me. Aye, aye, Mooney. Aye. Um... It really looks I'm... back at everyone, so I'm just going to go over and check something real quick. Is that okay? Just be careful, Mooney. All right, I will. I, 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 I really oh, don't know. Bye! Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Minnie. chaos has left the table. <laughs> <laughs> Minnie's going to make her way. I'm like, imagining Minnie. like the bar and then there's maybe like a, a door that goes into the kitchen. There is, yeah. Minnie's just going to stand at the bar and like her big seven foot frame kind of like lean over and see if maybe she can just see herself in the kitchen. You can't, you, as you kind of lean like right over the bar and again, the, the lads playing cards are now watching you. Uh, you can't see round the corner inside. You hear some rattling uh, coming from inside the kitchen, but you don't see anybody. Okay. To the rest of the people, like the group at the table, Umber goes, she does realize that badgers are only small compared to her, and they're actually like pretty big, <laughs> yeah, pretty, pretty big pretty animals compared to yet, everyone I mean, else, right? It's like a yeah. large cat. Yeah, I, I could start a little. Yeah. Minnie's just gonna you call try. in. Did yeah, you I see should. any beef? Are there any sandwiches in there? You're, you're, you're calling out to Brassica or to no, to whoever's in the kitchen. Um, uh, we've you're you're well, it's goat. Oh, is that all? There's no. There's definitely no car. No. Mm, <laughs> oh no. No. I. I mean, it, it. 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 Well, the goat is from yesterday, so it probably has a beefier taste to it. If that's right. anything to go I by. I mean, it's better than nothing. So yeah, we'll just go for the goat then. Okay. A funeral platter worth of goat sandwiches. Are you sure you don't need any help in there? I mean, that's a lot of sandwiches for one person. No. Um, and if you need anything, Kristoff, uh, Dad will be happy to, right. to, to help. Okay. By the way, do you have a sister by any chance? <laughs> <laughs> you hear something drop inside the kitchen. Oh, it sounds like you've got a sister. <laughs> can we hear this? You guys yes. thought I would fuck this up. Everybody <laughs> can hear this. Um, Ronnie, Ronnie. The, the teasing man from earlier sidles up to the bar. Hi. <laughs> Hello. Hi. What? Why are you asking so many questions? Because Mooney leans in a little bit closer. I think she might be in a wee bit of trouble. Oh. Yeah. 
What sort See, of this trouble? Is, this is the thing, now. Um, she might have taken something from us, and we would like to get her back. But the, see, the thing is, is that maybe the people that were with maybe kind of want her dead. And I'm sort of thinking that maybe, <laughs> you know, no, I don't know, God. maybe if we warned her in advance, then she might be so, so relieved by this that she might be so inclined to give back what she stole from us. So her and a wee dog might be able to get away. Her wee dog. Do we hear all of this? Yeah. No, she's being quiet. Oh, sorry, she's you're being, being quiet. She's okay. being real quiet about it. Okay, but you were saying this to the tiefling man. Not the tiefling man. That's who came up to you. Come on. No, it was the tiefling man. Oh, from... then retcon. No, she's not saying that. Dad came out. No, sorry, no. She said that Christoph could come out and help, and then the tiefling guy. <laughs> oh so, no. Oh That's why I laughed. Nah. I thought the dad came out. No, no I retcon, thought you were spilling the full saying. beans to, the to like. <laughs> Can we the retcon bar? our schools in the treasure chest? Is that okay? <laughs> <laughs> I misunderstood. I thought the dad came out. Well, you'll get you'll get one free retcon. Uh, I have a call. Be kind to me. That's why, I'm, that's why I'm being kind. There'll be no further retcons for this book. book so she called out if she had a sister, and then there was and yeah. Then. Uh, um, uh, dad, why don't you see if they need drinks? And they just hear a. Uh, from inside and then the, the dwarven man comes around uh, and he just went and wipes a lump of like fat uh, from his hand onto a, a, an apron. Yuck. Ale. Yeah. Yeah. Seven. Uh, yeah. Okay. So you still have a sister then? Nah. Alright. But then what dropped back there? Trey. Alright. You sure you don't need any help? Yeah. And does she have a sister? Yeah. Does a sister look like her? No. She does have a sister, doesn't she? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I love it. Mooney's like good cop, bad cop, all by herself. <laughs> She's fucking crazy cop. <laughs> uh, I bet she does. I bet she has a sister who looks just like her. She did have a sister. Yeah. She wouldn't be here. Seven ales, yeah? I, I don't know what that meant, though. What do you mean by that? If she had a sister, she wouldn't be here. Mooney, are we dealing you in or not? Um, I don't know how to play cards. And she just goes back. What do you mean by that? <laughs> <laughs> And two I, you, look, you're you're a <laughs> You look like a strong lass. You you mind helping an old man with a barrel? I mean I'm really weak. I'm just really tall, but I <laughs> You know that episode where the FBI are talking to Homer and they're like <laughs> <laughs> no, Mr. Thompson. <laughs> I think he's talking to me. Oh my god, my face. Like, I'll help you with a bar while, okay? Oh, sure, it's God. <laughs> oh, uh, it's, I'll get the seven ales if you want to go back and help out Melissa with the the platter. Of course. I know that's what I'm here for. I did ask if you needed any help, and now you stay, so I'll do that. Are you okay? <laughs> this, this is going to the kitchen. Oh my god. What the hell is um, happening? Guys, guys, and, guys, what is yeah. happening? Targal is just Targal is just looking at the rest of you. Nothing. Just... Just helping oh, thing. Melissa, Where? did you need any help after all? Uh, 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 um, Dad, I ale. Oh, uh, 
Yes, there's a barrel of ale that needs opening. And she's just looking at you. Uh, there, it's it's, and she points out a back door. Oh, is it? You guys like are it? in the kitchen, are you? Yeah. Okay. And the back door is on the other side in the of the kitchen. kitchen. On the kitchen, yeah. Can I just say, like, if Nova saw Mooney go in to the kitchen, she would have gone up to the bar and just like, just be cool on the bar, but okay. listening okay. for any trouble. <laughs> cool at this on the bar. point, that tiefling man is now also at the bar. Oh yeah, I'll be cool beside the tiefling man. <laughs> Sorry, can you hear my cat? No. <laughs> Did you ask this to the tiefling man? No. <laughs> <laughs> Snoring beside me, the usual. <laughs> Shitting or snoring, pick one. Like, <laughs> why not both? <laughs> Snort. <laughs> uh, yeah, you're a uh, your friend. Okay. She's just getting the sandwiches. Do you want you want a sandwich? No. <laughs> There's enough of them. What did you say you were in town for again? Oh, just we're helping him out. And she's like, she's looking like towards the kitchen. So she's not looking at this man. She's just gesturing back at Targal. And he he looks at Targal and Targal gestures with his mug to the the tiefling man. (coughs) I'm a... I'm going to go get Marek, I think. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. Her heart sister's... rate is increasing, but she's just <laughs> she's just trying to hold it together. Your sister's fucking tapped. How do you know oh. she's my sister? Family resemblance. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> he thought I was gonna snap that. <laughs> <laughs> she's still not looking at him. She's been cool right now. You're cool. I'll recon the sister comment then if that's the <laughs> Oh, I thought I fucking got you out, bastard. Uh, no, sorry, because that was more, yeah. How would he fucking know that? He doesn't know that. Uh, you didn't walk around holding hands going, we're the family now. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, we're the Von Next Trapps. Time you go. <laughs> this is Mooney. She talks uh, to So we're, we're just, just going to say he said friend. Your friend is weird. She's like, you can see, like, she's white knuckling the bar right now gripping it but still not looking at him yeah she's she's unusual all right what's the crack with and he uh, nods over at Tyra oh my you fancy her oh <laughs> fuck no <laughs> damaged goods <gasps> oh oh Fireball. She's uh, she's gripping the bar so hard now. I think it will probably crack a little. And she's just gonna side eye him and say, "Yeah, she's she's not that interested in anyone, but definitely not likes of you." Mm. I don't know. I mean. Look at her. Look what at happened, you. What happened the eight points to the horn? I think it looks pretty cool, actually. Tell them I snapped it off. <laughs> do you want me to do the same for you? You can match. This is an audible conversation to clarify. This one isn't below anyone's breath, right? Yeah, no, no he's not. Yeah, yeah. Umbra's Jesus looking Christ, Finn, stop. <laughs> was that the cat? That was the fucking cat. Shush, I'm having a moment. Give <laughs> <laughs> yeah. him a roast beef sandwich, you know what to do. <laughs> right, he's going to push everywhere. Uh, uh, Umbra's looking to Targal for a lead here <laughs> with like with the air and intensity of someone who is aware of what's 
likely to happen next. Just getting sandwiches. <laughs> Your boss seems to have picked a few piss stains. Which one of you are we gotten this time? She's not going to reply to that. Is it the... I know it is. Oh, enlighten me. He nods over at Regiment. Short, yeah. fat little piss stain. Yeah, he gotta, is a piss stain, got, yeah. Gotta be. Yeah. Can't be much use. Dragging that round. That was one stain and it was one stain. <laughs> 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 oh, <man. laughs> you, I'm uh... angry, am I? I meant to be angry. Stop making me laugh. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, you're welcome to try, but you might make it difficult. What's that supposed to mean? Oh, well, you know, he's got a bit of fight to him. Mm. So we've really want to choose your next couple of words carefully. Start to get a sense of hostility from you. Oh no, I'm just really fucking hungry. Oh. I'm keep an eye on you. And his gaze lingers for a moment. Nora is going to wink at him. <laughs> yeah, keep looking. I'd rather sooner, and he kind of nod at, he nods at Diara. Oh! But then again, and he poured in a storm. She's fucking trying. She's trying. <laughs> She's trying. I wouldn't be surprised if there's a lump out of the bar right now. That's how hard she's gripping it right now. Uh, she's, just, she's just she's not gonna. He that. turns around. He drops a couple of copper coins on the the counter, and he heads out the door. The three lads that were set at the table with him follow suit. Are they gone? Yeah. Is the dwarven man there? Christoph. Yeah. In front of me. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> so the game is called Super Snap, okay? It's a combination of regular snap and sandwich snap. <laughs> um, okay. I have four sevens. What do I do? Snap. <laughs> Your friend is back there. Is she okay back there? Fine. Yeah. Fine. What's the deal with that guy? I, I would not at the, the door that they left through. You just Yeah. You just pissed off. Wonderful. Marek's right hand. Okay. I was just having a conversation with the man. Mm, it doesn't take much to piss off Wonderful. It doesn't take much to piss me off either, so. I can tell my bar is somewhat splintered. Yeah, sorry. And she's going to just like push the coins towards him. That should cover it. <laughs> Uh, Mooney, uh, the halfling girl is just kind of looking up at you, uh, a slice of bread in one hand with a fairly thick hock of gravy or a uh, camel with gravy on it. Camel, goat, where am I going? Camel, <laughs> I was, <laughs> camel. I, she, she, yeah, she pressed the digitated it into camel. Uh, no, it's camel, a goat, it's goat, god, where is the camel going from? <laughs> You want camel? I just, just love a bit of camel right now. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> I 
have to get the ale. So why don't you come with me? Okay. All right. I will go with you to get the ale. Lead the way. Uh, she heads towards the back door. Um, uh, she opens it and she steps out and it's the cold air just immediately rushes into the kitchen. Oof. And then he puts her little shawl up on her, <clears throat> up over her head. Ooh. The, the barrel is just, and she's kind of pointing at a stack. Uh, can you... I mean, do you want me to lift it down for you? Uh, well, uh, are we actually getting ill? I thought you wanted to take me out here to tell me something secret. <laughs> Is she in the barrel? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just ale, and you really shouldn't be asking about her. All right. But why, though? We need to find her. Why? What? Because she stole what? something from us and we want to get her back. She steals things from lots of people all the I time. Know, just... but this one's really important to us. It was a wee gift from her mother and we'd like to get her back. Well, just buy another one. We can't buy another one because we don't know what it is. Besides, we can't buy another one because that's not the point. The point is that our mum gave it to us and we kind of want to have it back. We can't buy a new mum. She stole your mother. No, she didn't steal her mother. She stole something that our mum gave to us. Uh, okay, I... I, I... I don't know what to tell you. Do you I... know where she might have gone? She looks back into the bar. I... I really shouldn't be doing this. I... Come here. And... And she kind of gestures for you. She goes down. That was really stupid of you. And she just presses a, like a handful of muzzle right into your face. And there's an overwhelming smell of no. just pungent roots. Oh no, it's cat piss. <laughs> it's cat piss. <laughs> yeah. uh, give me a constitution saving throw oh, with disadvantage. No, I'm a precious baby angel. I want to kill everyone in this shitty town. <laughs> right, what was it? A uh, con save? Con save with disadvantage. Oh, disadvantage. Oh no. Uh, Mostly because you were in shock, you went, <gasps> what was that? And you inhaled the <laughs> ammonia. The piss. Uh, can't save, can't save, can't save, can't save, can't save. Okay. Uh... Mommy, you got this. <laughs> oh, no. no. One of those was a natural 20. The other one was a 10 plus 3, 13. You, you just see a smile come across her face. <laughs> and then there's just a quick sharp whistle and as you kind of stumble money and you you like there's three of there's three of her um and you just see uh, glowing amber eyes come out of <gasps> a, a kennel oh it's Seamus. and you just hear hello uh oh. and then you you go down oh, did we no. hear the whistle no, it wasn't like a loud, like can I, sharp. Can I do anything? No. Uh, you black out. I was sleeping. Uh, Call Will Brassica. Brassica, Brassica, go. It's, it's <laughs> all <laughs> <with> you. <laughs> Mighty Morphin Brassica Ranger. Oh, he just gets big. <laughs> Brassica, you uh, have hyper ocean. beam. <laughs> And as uh, as Mooney collapses, having in, inhaled some very very potent sleeping herbs, uh, and 
Tilly wonders how she's going to get the furbug woman on the wolf, and the wolf is also wondering the same thing. <gasps> she doesn't have a sister. <laughs> 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 Across the square, uh, uh, vulnerable uh, marches uh, with a half elf man in tow and a gang uh, of uh, his men at flanking either side of him. Uh, Marek makes eyes on the plowman, uh, his men readying their weapons. We leave the session <laughs> there. But we don't, we're not quite finished. Because somewhere in this world, everywhere in this world, events are unfolding. And in a very cold, dark place, the sounds of chains rattle and echo down a drafty hallway. Two figures step carefully and quickly through a stone corridor, the light of a torch guiding their path. The flames flick and bounce as a sharp, cold draft whips up around them. The hallway ends at a thick, heavy black metal door. A pale hand reaches up to a latch and a grate scratches open. Metal on metal, there's a groaning sound. Inside, two sets of eyes peer in on the pale and battered frame of an elven man laying against the wall. Dirty blonde hair thrown over his shoulder, his face bruised and swollen, his hands bound in glowing silver chains. This is him. A voice calls. The words drift with a half a smirk. Yes. A woman answers. Mathis. My brother. The elven man looks up, his eyes milky white. His lips tremble. They bleed slightly as he goes to speak. Boss. Boss. Boss, she lives, she dies, she lives again. He failed. I vow to you, my lord, I will not. And the woman slams the grate shut. We're back in two weeks for chapter 11, A Secret Written. Um, thank you so much for in for joining us <laughs> this evening. I uh, hope you enjoyed your time. Um, as always, uh, I have been Declan, your dungeon master. Um, I was joined by James playing Umbra, Emma as Redmond, Fiona Hi. as Nolra, Kat as Mooney, and Eilish as Diara. Um, would absolutely love if you are not already following us here on Twitch. Um, if you give the our Twitch channel a, a follow, uh, we're Twitch affiliate. I'm learning what these things are now. Uh, we're Twitch affiliate, and we will soon, 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 soon uh, be on that whole other monarchy around subscriptions. Subscriptions, oh, <laughs> whatever that is. We'll be doing subscriptions as well. Um, but um, we're also on. Plenty of social media channels at D8 Dungeon. You can find us on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok now as well, I believe. Discord, if you uh, want to come hang out with some of the coolest people in the world. And I don't mean the people playing this game. I mean the people in our Discord community. <laughs> uh, they're, they're the best. Um, would love to come. Uh, would love if you would come and hang out with us. We have a date night, D8 night, on March 8th. That's Tuesday. And we're going to be playing some games. And we want you to come and hang out with us on Discord and play some games with us. Um, that we're really looking forward to organizing these. Um, if you liked Rise of the Forsaken, um, and do check out our YouTube channel. If you've missed some of the game, you'll be able to watch it back over there in a couple of days. Um, we also run a podcast um, 
uh, a show called Romance in the Dungeon, which is into its second season. Um, there was some crystals, some funerals, a wake, uh, and some shenanigans, and a very, very frustrated kobold um, <laughs> that the world had to deal with and meet a, a little while back. Um, that's out on uh, the next episode is out Friday coming. Um, and we have a new show starting, a Ooh. new show starting at the end of the month, uh, spurning from uh, Romancing the Dungeon and that world, uh, a gothic horror uh, called Funny. Saving Grace. Uh, it'll be a stream. It'll be live here on Twitch. More details will be announced soon. Um, so if you like horror and you like things gothic and you like things creepy and ooky and spooky, and gross, um, hopefully you'll check that out. Uh, some familiar faces, some new faces, and some very, very familiar characters um, with the whole story and approach to a very, very weird world. Um, lastly, just a reminder, we have uh, an affiliate uh, link with the Rook and the Raven, crafters and creators of some wonderful, wonderful TTRPG accessories. So if you're looking to keep track of your player notes, <clears throat> Emma. Um, <laughs> then, uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> then you need to pick up a player notebook. Uh, the only the uh, notes I've taken are uh, camel sandwiches. For camel my sandwiches. Oh. The rest of your book coming soon from D8 Dungeon. Uh, and a letter from a lot of Middle Eastern countries about the lack of camels. Uh, you have uh we have an affiliate link with the rook and the raven so if you head on over and you're in the need for a gm planner <coughs> a player planner whatever it might be uh and any of the cool accessories that come with it to customize your notes um if you use the code d8 dungeon at checkout uh you will get a discount and we will get proceeds from the sales that help Yay. us create more content and do more and more things Yay. um have I done everything? Is that everything I was supposed to do? Have I said everything? I think so. It sounds like That's everything. That's about it. The only other Can thing would be bad? to hang those in chat, hang out and chat after, and we will raid someone else here. Yeah, we're gonna go. We're we're gonna go raid. We're gonna go raid some things. Uh, five out of five great stream could use more camels. Noted. Constructive criticism <laughs> has been heard. Next episode, I will try and cram a camel in. Uh, more camels. A camel. Oh my god! But let Mooney befriend a camel, and then we can like, use it as a steed. Yay! No, make now. friends with Seamus. Seamus is he's he's gonna save me. He's my guy. Absolutely. Oh yeah, I forgot you talked animals. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> we had such a lovely conversation. I told I he I told everybody his real name. Oh. Is it because of her humps? Her humps? <laughs> yes. Her lovely camo humps. Oh. Well done, oh. <laughs> we could have ended the stream before now, but no. <laughs> Here we are. Absolutely not. <laughs> we can edit that part. This out. is the content people say. For this week, so no, leave it. Leave it. Once. Clip it. Clip that bit. So, where are we going, James? Who are we waiting? Great question. Who Here's the thing, right? My concern is that if I open something uh, while I have this open, it'll start showing that thing and it'll show our Twitch panel instead. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut to the credits when we're all said and done. And everyone can just hang out for the two minutes it'll take for me to jump us over to someone else. Yeah, cool. And Zan, Zan is streaming. Beautiful. Yeah, let's go to Zan. We'll go I'll to the Zan. link in the WhatsApp. We'll, we'll go, go to Zan. Zan. Beautiful. Nice. Excellent. We're going bye to Zan, bye. everybody. Buckle up. Bye, <laughs> everyone. <laughs> Love you. Bye. Camel. 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 Camel.